ladies and gentlemen here for the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in Indio, California, USA. Tonight, Golden Boy Fight Night on the Zone is proud to bring you the main event of the evening. Eight rounds of the super lightweight division, and it's all presented to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions, sponsored by Hennessy. Never stop, never settle. And odds for tonight's fights are brought to you by Bet Online. This contest is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. The chair is Pete Villegas. Executive officer is Andy Foster. The three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Pat Russell, Daniel Sandoval, Damian Walton, and your referee in charge of the action. At the sound of the bell, Edward Hernandez Sr. And now fight fans, two diamonds. One ring tonight who will shine the brightest. Indio, California. It's golden time. <laughs> Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with trainer Ignacio Arroyo, wearing black with gold. He officially weighed in 136.2 pounds. Tonight, he steps into this contest with an outstanding record. 16 bouts, 14 victories. Seven wins coming to you by way of knockout and only two defeats. Fighting out of Pixley, California, by way of Ecuador. Introducing Jose Elveros Anculo. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer and father, Chewy Gonzalez, tonight wearing gray, trimmed with black. He officially weighed in 136.6 pounds. In 13 professional bouts, his record is perfect. 12 victories, 11 wins coming to you by way of knockout. No defeats with one draw. Introducing to you the fighting undefeated pride of Covina, California. Here is Charles Pito Gonzalez. Bring it in. Alright gentlemen, I've been over the rules with you both, you're professionals, I expect you to conduct yourself as such. Touch gloves, good luck. Eddie Hernandez Sr., the third man in the ring for our main event. That's Tito Gonzalez, 12-0, one draw. Well, against Striker Delgado a few years ago, but 11 KOs. Jose Angulo, Ecuador's finest, 14-2. We're ready. Get ready to go in our ready. main event tonight. Bucks. Beth Duran, Bernard Hopkins, and Brandy Flores, our ringside reporter. This is scheduled for eight rounds in the super lightweight division. Thank you for joining us on Golden Boy Fight Night. Thursday night boxing, always fun. As we continue to develop through this fun summer. Gonzalez with the silver and black. Young man. Who started off his career just knocking everybody out of the first round and as he progressed in his career more of a boxer starts slowing down a bit now at 27 but he has to strike now covid knocked out activity but before that he had shoulder injury where he needed a rest for a year so that helped him a lot gonzalez can't stay up straight I know it's early, he's still cold, both fighters is not really warmed up. So this is the, like sort of dangerous, treacherous water in the first, second round when they start warming up in the third or fourth. But right now, both fighters are vulnerable to get hit with a good shot and maybe get a reaction from each guy. All right, Bernard, neither of them has a good lather going at all. They look dry. Fielding out round for the two. Gonzalez from a fighting family. His father, Chewy Stop. Gonzalez, introduced Stop. the, Don't hey, the kids to watch the, the sport. Box. Younger brother, Joet Gonzalez, who fought on the top rank show last week and lost a split decision. His sister, Yonhaira, is also boxing. 
Looks like Gonzalez is trying to work out of it, work out of it, work out of it. Yeah, he definitely trying to counter. And you know, Gonzalez has that that straight up style, and he has to be sort of you know conscious of that and try to catch. And Gola coming in, if he can catch him coming in with a good shot, then he can get some respect early. Overhand right from Angulo. Solid right by Angulo here with 40 seconds to go in the opening round. Angulo had, you know, he's not going to the body first and then go to the head. He's just strictly head hunting right now. Let's see later if he goes to the body. Gonzalez, I think he's standing too much taking pictures. He should just keep that jab pumping. Right there, he threw a half a jab, didn't really commit with it. But if he throw that jab and keep that distance, he might can lay that straight left hand or right hand coming in. Stop, don't punch, don't punch, don't punch. Step back, step back. He has Bucks. to reach, he should use it to his advantage. Like right now, with that jab, should be coming in. Ha! Bucks. And we head to the second round. Jose Angulo from Guayaquil, Ecuador. Ecuador, of course, Hall of Famer, baseball announcer, Jaime Jarrín. And he fought recently in Minnesota. Did Angulo. He fought in Hinkley, Minnesota. He came up short against Alejandro Guerrero. So this is his second U.S. appearance, but that was back in 2020 when he fought uh, against Guerrero. And that's a fight where he said, after that, I realized I need to get to the United States somehow, some way to change my career. And here he is now. That's the B-side on the main event. The Thursday night fight, opening up eyes if you can produce and put on a show. Yeah, that B can easily turn to an A. So you, you have to don't punch, take don't the punch. guy stop, for stop. what he says as respect and then change his mind later. Yep. Right now, his mind ain't being changed. Yep. And I'd like to see now more punches from both guys to set that respect level. That was no, a, no, 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 that guy. That was a slip, but it was a punch that happened. Could, it could have been Box. called a knockdown because the punch didn't land. The hold slip, so Agulo, his first loss was to Ryan Pino. Back in Work out of it, guys. Work out of it. Rico. So he's all in two away from his country. Stop! Don't punch, don't punch. Yeah, and Gulo is dangerous. Stop, stop. He come Watch, out the out. Watch the holding. Watch the holding. Like, he Box. believed that... He did some damage, and he came right back with that straight, hard right hand. Well, curved right hand. Let's see if he tries to, you know, dominate this round even more. Here's that same overhand right he's throwing. Stop! Stop! Don't punch! It seemed like that he feels that that's the punch that started something. He's very confident being able to throw that overhand right as the fighter from Ecuador. As Jose comes back, finally. And you heard his corner telling Jose, you got to pick it up. You can't be slow. Joe's telling us, and that was a report from Brandy Flores in our open, how his brother Joette told him, don't leave it into the hands of the judges. Come out. And also fight this way. The way he fights lets his hand go. Stop. He's trying to throw hard Stop. punches hey. all at once. Stop. He has to okay. sneak Watch those punches hold, in man. because Box. people are paying attention to his knockouts and watch his fights. He has to do what he's doing now. Let those hands go and let the big punches come in the middle. Work out of it, work out of it. Ended by Gonzalez. Stop, break, step back. Box. I like to see Gonzalez do a little more jabs, meaningful jabs to get in and then set those common punches up when he gets in position. Because right now, if he have a shootout in, the, in, in exchange punches, I Watch believe that he's not good enough to get back and defend himself. Stop at the bell. Final seconds of the second round. Still filling each other out. Gets the third. Here's an advice to Jose Angulo. Fox. And that's what Gonzalez has to wait for because he's throwing that jab out there and it's not coming back as quick as it should. He has to snap that jab. Two jabs, three jabs. Right now he's just stalking and throwing one jab. If he continues to do that, he's going to get counted with the right hand. So. Joe's Gonzalez mentioned come from a fighting family. Everybody was boxing. Only one of the siblings doesn't. And he has a younger brother, Jason. 
who has cerebral palsy. Uh, but Jason is also the big sports fan who was going to be the hardest critic, and he's right there. So Jason always watches the broadcast. Energetic young man, he's now 21. Stop. So Don't everything punch, about so this family the for the Gonzalez is love, about boxing. Box. On Google for him, from Bernardi, he doesn't like boxing. He's not as a kid. And he's bringing the left and the right. And he loves bringing, it now. Stop. Bringing those punch, tough, punch. hard punches hey. that hey. Stop, stop. Stop. getting Don't hit behind the, the head, attention okay? of Gonzalez. I mean, Box. Gonzalez has to get his respect because right now he doesn't have it. And he must get his respect fast. Left hand from Gonzalez. That'll help, but he has to put something behind that. One punch is not going to get it done. He has to sort of sneak those punches in there that make an effect later. Let him go, let him go. Stop, don't punch, and don't Gulo punch. is a huge soccer fan. He grew up loving soccer. Why did he box? Because the kids in the neighborhood went to the gym one day and they had their own little fighting session and he was knocking people out. The trainer came over, grabbed his wrist and said, my goodness, your hands, <laughs> they're fighting. Come back to the gym, and he's never stop, left since. Stop, Don't punch, don't and punch. And if you look at his physique, he's oh, physically okay, strong. Watch the I mean, and, and along with all the other attributes he has. And look, he's throwing that right hand with meaningful stop, power. Stop, don't punch, don't punch. Stop. That Gonzalez has to be aware of. Box. Not afraid, but aware of. Maybe encounter. That's what his corner told him. He sit back, let him come in, encounter, and go. Dropping him as Jose Gonzalez. Spitting out the mouthpieces, Angulo. Five, you said counter? Six. Jose seven, landed. Eight, and is he going to get up? Nine, no, he's ten. not. Jose Gonzalez with the KO. A body shot to Angulo's side. And Angulo still on the mat. 229 of the round early on but it was the third round where that body shot the delay the liver quiver as weak sauce radio would say that delay reaction Bernard it just buckles you and it wasn't even a counter it was you know a cover up Anguilla was covering up right there and he jumped in with a body left hand to the body shot so it wasn't even a counter he forced that to happen to put him in position to, to retreat and to protect himself but he didn't protect himself enough and immediately spit out the mouthpiece. That's when he knows it's over. Again, good job by the guys in the truck and the replay crew getting the different angles of that. And the celebration from Jose Gonzalez. 13 and 0 now, his 12 KO. Jumps on the ropes, looks at his crowd, fired up. Covina, California's own. Hey, Fitness doing work. Ladies and gentlemen, here for the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino, our referee, Edward Hernandez Sr., reaches the count of 10. The official time comes to you, 2.29. Round number three to the winner by KO, and still undefeated, Chosk Pita see the smile from Jose Tito Gonzalez. It's the victory. He told us, Bernard, I can't leave it in the hands of the judge. So the first round, a couple rounds, obviously, yeah, we didn't see much. But, as you said in the past, you explained to me, if you're going to say I'm going to knock somebody out, you better do something. He and, did it in the third. And, and he tonight, and that was to get this knockout victory. You got it in the third round. What did you see that allowed you to not take him out with that body shot? Um, you know, I saw a lot of things in the opening round. Uh, I saw, I knew he was in his box for me from the beginning, you know, stay out, and that was his whole game plan to not let me get inside. Uh, so I was just setting him up, touching him up, touching him down. I was making, I was reading him, and I saw he pulled up his guard too high, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna set him up for this body shot. You know, it came, uh, I saw one, he left it up too long, took the body shot, and that's all I needed to get him out. All about taking advantage of your opportunities. Now, in those first couple of rounds, he, you got knocked around a bit. How did that feel, and how were you able to, you know, overcome that and still finish through with your game plan? No, I, I was patient. You know, I knew he was going to do that. I knew he was going to just touch, 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 and try to stay comfortable. And, you know, my whole objective is to make him uncomfortable. Um, so my whole game plan was just, you know, fill him out. Uh, as soon as I started landing my shots, I knew it was only a matter of time because I, I know nobody can hang with it. 
and you prove to everyone here watching, everyone at home watching, that you can knock somebody out. Now, what did you prove to yourself out here tonight? I proved a lot to myself. You know, this guy is 14 and 2, he's solid. He's fought some, fought some good fighters, never been knocked out. I was the first to do it, and all I needed was one shot, you know. Like I said, I'm here to make statements. I want to thank Golden Boy for, you know, the opportunity to, to, to be the main event on the zone. You know, thank you, you know, to my Golden Boy family, you know, love them and, and I appreciate them for the opportunity. And Tito, what is next for you? You know, anybody. Uh, I'm a 135 pounder. Uh, I'm here to fight anybody. I don't care who it is. I know Golden Boy has four guys around my weight. Ryan Garcia, Joseph Diaz, Oscar Duarte, William Cepeda. You know, any four of them, I'll fight them anytime, anywhere. It doesn't matter, you know, I want these big fights. If I gotta knock them all out, I gotta knock them all out and I'll get those big fights. All right, he's gonna knock them all out. We'll wait and see. Congratulations. Back to you guys ringside.